All right, we're live. Just waiting to hit seven. Come on. curiosity hello i am thomas heather <laughs> what's going on with the uh i can't hear any of the notifications rock yo what's up how the heck can i do that is it like sound Transformation. Noise suppression. Drift. What sound? Is there any way to get that? Because like the the, the the sounds for the server itself is not a. I can't hear that anymore. That's what I mean. Like, I, what the fuck? That was weird. Straight bizarre. So, uh, let's get this stuff uh, going here. How's it going tonight? Make sure, yeah. This one here has the, the right paint scheme. Just check it. Speaking of that, actually, let me uh, pull up no mic on here because, yeah, all of my uh, notifications are silenced now for some reason. Let's uh, get this stuff going here. Turned on. All right. Drivers, Drivers. to your cars. All right, hello everybody and welcome to ski car race number four here at wide bristol we're gonna get going here for qualifying race number one here starting on your front row is gonna be 13 uh, aiden napier followed by the 18 and nick Charmento in second 
Third's going to be the 10 of Hector, Dan Hector Daniel Kyleson, followed by the 25 of Michael Corabetis there to his outside in fourth. Rolling off fifth is going to be the seventh of James Daniel, followed by the nine of Louis Galaxy in sixth. Fourth row inside is going to be the 29 of Nia Marinacci, followed by the six of Jack Mihoff to her outside in eighth. Ninth is going to be the 27 of Adrian Gale. And rounding out your top 10 here is going to be the 54 of Zebel Tom Fullington. So we head for, through the rest of the field to let everyone know where they're uh, starting out here. Uh, put this bad boy into spectator mode. Feel now starting to pull up and pull away here. So we got this 25 lap qualifying event number one. Pace car is in now. It's gonna be the 13 and the 18 here, leading them down here to green. As the green flag is out, and we're racing here at wide Bristol. Ten Hector Daniel Kyleson looking at the bottom of the racetrack as Louis Galaxy goes way high there. Not the best idea to do here is the 10 taking over the lead now. But here comes the seven of James Daniel. He looks to his inside to try to take it back. Is there four wide in the back of the back here trying to get make something work back there? Oh, just make sure. Yeah, people can still hear me. Sorry about that. As the eight now of, of Elaine Johnson taking over the lead. But, it, but excuse me. Alvin Ramirez right here to try to take it back is Adrian Gale now looking to try to make something done here, the KFC number 27. I believe I might have just saw smoke there, not quite sure who that was from, but hopefully nothing too major. It looks like they're going to be three wide for the lead now here as they enter turn number three and four here down the front straightaway. It's going to be Race Cleveland taking over the lead now. Extremely close racing here. Three, four, five wide at the back of the pack over here. Let's uh, take a look now. Here's the uh, 26 of Greg Jackson. Unfortunately, didn't make the field um, yesterday, but I'm um, trying to do it. Trying to do something a little bit better here today. The Crown Royal number 26 had a bunch of great finishes here this season so far. Just trying to make something work after a great run at Daytona. Here's something new that just uh, came up here in the last couple of hours. The 16 of Peyton Lutz. Going to be over underneath a new team banner here. It's going to be a Voyager Phoenix Racing now, right? Something like that. The NASA number 16 after um, Michael Martinez uh, selling his uh, team Bracket Motorsports there to uh, Flipperwind Autosport and uh, deserting to uh, Kyleson Enterprises over here. So it's going to be a pretty interesting thing to see... Uh, how they uh, stack up here is he's going to be in the next heat because uh, haven't changed the numbers over quite yet, but pay scheme's in there, so you don't got to worry. As it looks like if we head towards the front, it's going to be Greg Jackson here with the lead. Oh, we got a caution on the racetrack now. Eli Hughes and Rick Harrison in it. Not quite sure what happened here. Rex are kind of a uh, anomaly here, here at Wide Bristol. It's going to be pretty pretty interesting to see how this uh, shakes up. Oh, you're supposed to, yep, the wide Blaney car. I got you. Bro, I I went through this this whole thing and I was like, yeah, I, I got everybody's thing in here. Wait, what? Oh, I didn't do the fucking heat race ones. God damn it. So for the feature, all of them are exactly the right thing. I am so sorry about that. Yeah, Garfunkel. Yeah, is this a Garfunkel cat here? I finally got these pa all these paint schemes into the game. Hell of a journey, but uh, managed to uh, get it done here. As we are still under caution, let's see what happened here to the 33 of Elijah Hughes to bring out this first caution of the day. It was running 36 at the time there on the bottom. When, oh, Nia Marinacci and Alvin Ramirez, oh, nowhere for the 40 of Rick Harrison to really go there. Um, If we rewind a little bit here, I want to see, wondering just how the heck the 01 and the 29 got, uh, 
got all hooked up like that. I just came back. I just came here, and then the first thing Looks I like see Looks like the O one is... started pushing, and then just. Or maybe it was the 29. I honestly don't know. You make the call here. There's nowhere for the 40 of Rick Harrison to go. Absolutely clobbers the 23. Click on the speed ball on As now the pace car has turned the lights off. We're going to be going back green here for a 10-lap shootout to the finish. Greg Jackson going to be here in first, followed by the 27 of uh, Adrian Gale, Wild Wild, Noah Knight, and Peyton Lutz here making up here at top five. So it's going to be pretty interesting to see if Greg Jackson can hold on to the lead here for just five, for just 10 more laps to try to bring home his second career heat race win, first one coming at Daytona. As the pace car now coming in, and they're going to be coming in through three and four now. Down the front straightaway. As the green flag is out, and we're back racing here in wide Bristol. 27, Adrian Gale looking at the inside of the 26 now. He's going to be able to uh, get alongside him and maybe clear him here down the back straightaway. Not going to be able to do it that time. But into three, he's going to be able to get way past the 26. If the 26 falls back to third, or maybe even fourth here, is Noah Knight getting alongside him as well. But it's not going to last. That lead isn't going to last for long for Gale. As uh, the 48 of Wild Wild here taking the lead is Noah Knight. Also looking at his inside, trying to get that spot away. So we no problem is here comes Greg Jackson once again here on the bottom. Sending it three wide for second and maybe trying to get side by side for first here. Save off five laps to go for the Crown Royal number 26 as he inherits the lead as the Knight of Sebastian Dubay now. Coming to his inside to try to take that back. Will 26 be able to get back down to the bottom? A real big challenge here. It looks like the 9 will be keeping the lead here. Kind of a rare thing to see happen is that 17 of Spongy Ahoy and the 19 of Daniel Starr will be side by side here for the spot. Second spot. And here comes Zevil Tom Fullington. Three cars with a big black base here. It's going to be this 54 Zevil Tom Fullington pulling up alongside the 9 now to retake that lead. It is going to be a. <laughs> I'm sorry, we got four laps to go here in this qualifying race number one. Simple Tom Fullington here to the inside, but here comes the 27. Adrian Gale now, he's got the advantage. We'll go to turn one, here comes Bever Train. Bever Train now, can he maybe make, make it all the way here is the 41 and Damon Deacon looking at his inside with the Christopher Bell inspired green, car, green paint scheme there. As well as the uh, 7 and 9 and another new uh, sponsored machine. It's going to be pretty interesting to see if we can get a 1 2 finish out of this as we have. Let's see. Two laps to go here coming on the next fairway into turns three and four here. They're going to be looking up to pick up a white flag. One lap to go here, presented by absolutely no one. Double zero rubber train. Looking at the inside of the seven. He's going to maybe be able to do it this time. Really clear him down the back straightaway. He's going to be able to send it in there in three, but here comes the 41. It's going to be side by side here, battle for the lead at the line. It's going to be the 41. Damon Deacon here picking up the win in qualifying race number one. Oh. Second's going to be the double zero. But oh! oh! We got what beef! The what the hell are we doing here? Oh my god, we got a major he pile up back here. Him. Take a look at what he did! What the hell? Everything sucks. I'm going to be in queue again. Oh man, 40 and the, and the 33 were 14 laps down in a 25 lap race. That uh... Damn, Tanner Campos retired and he finished third. What the f... What the hell? Anyway, I might as well write this stuff down now rather than later. 
Wasn't the 26 in the lead with like four to go? What? The 26, wasn't he leading with like four to go? Yes. Damn. That's just why how wide Bristol is, man. This shit's like a roulette wheel. Like a fucking random number generator. He's actually going to be the first person out here. 26. He's 09. Seven. Thirty-six. Fifteen. He's 28. 55. He's 18. 56, 22, 07, 11, 9, 29, 13, 01, 43, 40, and 33. Let me just make sure about this real quick. So don't forget. Okay, I'm just gonna put this thing on. I think he wanted a loves car, if I'm not mistaken. So I'm just gonna throw that on there for heat one tomorrow. You know what? I can do all this now and save myself some time. 26. I need more of the wide cars. Yeah. 57. 27. 36. 15. 28. <laughs> What the fuck? 55. Where's 18? There's 18. Kanye West! 56. Oh, wait. Give me a second. Oh. 22. 22. Join ski car today. Oh, 07. Sorry about this. Just figured I might as well get this out of the way so I only have to do half of it when there's that big intermission break or whatever the fuck. Where I gotta go through and get all that shit done anyway, so. Pretty, uh, poor performance out of that team. Started on the pole, ended up, uh, 30, 30, uh, 30, Why is that man so angry? Oh, we got it banned. Oh, one. Oh, the wheel. Aggressive goes around. Three, three. You made the transfer. You made the transfer. You made the transfer. You made the transfer, man. Forty-three, forty, and thirty-three. Because what I'm waiting on doing with uh, Michael Martinez's number and everything like that, because I know we switched Doc Kyle's in there. I kept him as the sixty-seven for now, just so I don't have to. Uh, because like I put the scheme in there, I'm gonna run it as the forty. I'm gonna say it's the forty, but like it's still in the game as the sixty-seven right now. I'm gonna have to uh, change that after I. Uh, after we get like the next couple drivers or whatever that ended up, if anyone else ends up joining this. So I'm gonna have to completely restructure the freaking qualifying thing. Well, one poor driver and it's all over. What? One more driver and it's all over for 
qualifying as it is right now. Yeah, as it is. Actually, no, technically two. Oh, well, yeah, one. Because meaty surprise. Oh. Because he said he wanted to be part time, so he's not in this one. For some reason, they'll be a flick up. I forgot it was wide Bristol. Let me just. Driver, Son of a bitch. Car. It's like, oh yeah, he's not in this race. Starts on the front row. <laughs> Shit likes to fuck with me sometimes, I swear. Was Oh yeah, BB Ruiz wasn't that one. Alright. So... Yeah, I gotta run this one then. Kind of sucks because he had a wide driver paint scheme. No. Yo, Brett, you gotta fix Bever Train's car. He I did. I want the why? Thank you. <laughs> I've been saying that the entire time. No, yeah, it was. It's in. It's in the. It's in this one. Is the. No, it isn't. Yeah, you put in the loves car. No, I mean I put the loves car in for the. Uh... Oh wait, yeah, I fucked with it. I'm sorry, that's my bad. Yeah, that I was trying to fix the mistake in the chat. Because I realized for this race we've been doing loves car, and I, and this was supposed to be one of the one of the wide driver races. <clears throat> also, did Raptor send you the rest of the wide driver cars that includes like Mark Martinis? Yeah, he he sent three of them. Okay. <clears throat> anyway, we're back. I'm sorry about that. Ooh, that's an interesting front row. Hello, everybody, and welcome to Ski Car Race Number Four here at Wide Bristol. We're going to get going here. We're qualifying race number two here. Starting on your front row is going to be the 44 of Gerhard Berger, followed by the 10 of Hugh Kyleson. Good uh, front row start for that for that uh, fast track team. 93 of uh, Scott Chegg going to be to, uh, behind him in row two inside. And to his outside is going to be the 40 of Michael Martinez. Used to be the 67 here for Bracken Motorsports, but over the course of the day, the team has been uh, sold yeah, off to uh, uh, Ripper Win Autosport. Yeah. Yeah. Phoenix, Phoenix Enterprise is Phoenix open, Enterprise. opening with the uh, assets of Bracket Motorsports there <clears throat> that were sold to Flipper Win Autosport, and uh, Martina is here yeah. joining the uh, Kyleson Enterprises team there, becoming a new teammate well, for yeah, for um, Hector Daniel Kyleson. I just I'm just so used to hearing the old name. Oh yeah. Sebastian Kettle here going to be coming off fifth, followed by the Phoenix six of. Enterprises. Matthew Bruner there in sixth. <laughs> Seventh is going to be the 78 of Brandon McMurray, followed by the 39 of of Triku Sloan in ninth. In eighth, ninth is going to be the 18 of Min McLovin, excuse me. And rounding out your top 10 is going to be the 28 of CJ Torak. And here in Wide Bristol, we don't know what the heck could happen here. So it could literally be any one of these drivers that potentially picks up a win here today. Well, that's not good. Uh oh. Well, if that happens, we gotta learn to save. We gotta learn to save results. Well, I can't do that though. You know, like save the qualifying order. Like, there's an option to save on the results page for qualifying. Like, oh. we could save the drive. Like, we could save the lineup when we go into the race. Like, get yeah, drive. Like, resume. Like, and it pulls up a resume saved race. <clears throat> that would help immensely if the game crashes. Oh, look at that, Gerhard Berger still in front row. Thank you, Kyleson. Look at that. Save. <clears throat> there we go. All right, hello, everybody, and welcome to Ski Car Race number four here at Wide Bristol, starting on your front row here for this qualifying race. Number two here is going to be the 3086 
of Avery Williams, followed by the 44, Gerhard Berger to his outside in second. Third is going to be the 93 of Scott Jag, followed by the 10 of Hugh Kyleson in fourth. Fifth is going to rolling off fifth. It's going to be the 62 of Xavier Krabs, followed by the 27 of Miles Hammond in sixth. Seventh is going to be the 95 of Jane Drafton, with the 72 of J.D. Fatal to her outside in eighth. Ninth is going to be the 11 of Lucky Noko, and rounding out your top 10 here is going to be the 18 of McLovin here. Oh, fuck. Okay. Nope. Drivers, two. There we go. Feel now pulling away here. By the way, um, Carlson Enterprise is actually gaining another car here. They gained two. They gained two exactly here. As the green flag is out, we're underway here. A wide Bristol. That second car actually was the 76 of Jimmy Allitzer here. Switching over from the 60. As Avery Williams here jumping out to a big lead. Not that common here. As Jane Drafton going to the inside of the 62 of Xavier Krabs to take second here. Now she's going to be working on her teammate here. The 86 of Avery Williams. It's the 11 of Lucky Noko here for Music City Motorsports. Going to be trying to get around her for the second spot. And going up, going to work on the 86 of Avery Williams now for first. The safe light number 11 of Lucky Noko. That's going to be pretty interesting to see if he can make his way by. It looks like he's going to be able to. As a 27 now. Miles Hammond. And uh, if you're wondering why the, oh a lot God, of these guys Kristen have the Thomas is falling off the wide driver things here on the hoods of some of these cars that we've seen here today, it's a uh, thing that, that they just decided to do, kind of, is this 27 now looking for the lead. It was just kind of a thing that kind of got put together last minute. But, um, yeah, it's been pretty interesting to see all uh, the creativity that gets put into these wide driver schemes for uh, the wide Bristol. Kind of funny. Yeah. As the 78 of Brandon Plus, Moreno are looking for the lead. We get to see uh, Acumatica sponsor Bever Train. That's true. As it looks like now Tim and Fox looking at the bottom of the racetrack trying to get around the 84 Jason Albert yeah. here. There goes 20... the Wowser car. <laughs> oh, Mid Midnight Rider contact there with the 27 of Miles Hammond. It's going to be three wide here for second. We've fallen back now. It's going to be the 18 of Midnight Rider here. I'm sorry, Mick Lovin here with the. Uh, I, here, I but just some name Almond in there. I'm going to make the same mistake multiple times. But it looks like it's still going to be the 86 Avery Williams here coming back here with the lead here as he has nine of the yeah. five laps in the books. Trying to make it three wide for the lead as they're coming up on Christian Promise. Got a lap car here. Is CJ Torek now taking the lead? And oh, we got trouble. Somebody Ooh. Oh man. What in the world? Is As he's putting most of these guys a lap down now. Looks like we're under caution now for the first for the second That's time a here lot today. Of the back half a lap down after that. What in the name of Oh wait. Someone has damage. Jeremy, Jeremy Isley. Isley. Oh. What in the world? Did he just lose power or something? No, I think he was one of the ones who was trying to get around him. He was running third at the time. Had to get around these guys. I look fine and dandy here. And, and then Arca breaks come into effect for the third for the 39. Boink. Rookie mistake there for the 39 of Triku Sloan. So we're going to try to figure out what the heck happened here. A little bit of a... Uh... Bit of a uh, speedy stripe there for the uh, 72. 73. 73, excuse <clears throat> me, the 73 Dylan Meter. of Dylan Meter. Oh, God damn it. Control Q. Control E. Alright, we're gonna see what the heck happened here. Control Q. Oh, is Tegan Fox going around? Oh, shit. Oh, no. Yep, that's me. You're probably wondering how I got oh, myself into this situation.
Well. That just sounds like a funny joke. Okay, let's see what happened to the 61 oh, here. To the Wild West World number 61 here to turn it around like this. Looks like it may have been oh, off the back. Getting sandwiched here between the 27 of uh, Midnight Rider. Uh, sorry, Miles Hammond and the 18 of McLovin. As yeah, M Midnight Rider, just, McLovin, excuse me. Fuck me. Miles Hammond sending her. Around here, but no damage on the 61, but cannot say the same for others. Just a big random stack up here. Just as that happens, we realized there was a fucking. Yeah, we realized that a caution came out. And uh, that's, a, that's a lot of lap cars that Torek put a lap down. Quite sure when the caution actually, the lights actually came on there. As the field now making their way oh. under caution. Howdy, y'all. <laughs> What's good? You just got crashed. Um... Unfortunately. Yeah, but you saved it. Uh, uh partner, I'm still in, I'm still fifteenth. It's fine. Better get to the bottom. Right. We only got ten laps to go here. As the field now so making the way. There's going to be another 10-lap shootout. Again, down it's the back stretch. One. What? Also, I think, also... Oh. CJ Torak here. Kind of got the weight of the world on his shoulders here. As the green flag is out, can he make it two in a row? Oh my god. A massive fucking jump. The speed code 28 now up to a huge lead. Jesus. Because it might be stringing out single file thing. behind him. And he's he's gonna be able to pull away a decent amount here. Is we got 16 to 20 lap five laps in the books here. The 66 and name almond dinger. It's gonna be a pretty interesting thing to see here if the uh, 28 can uh, manage to hold on. As they head down the back straightaway now here. It's going to be 66 giving chase here. They're going to be side by side here with this 27 of Miles Hammond here. Trying to get that third spot away from the 87 to oh, yeah. Xavier Martinez. Martinez headed to the bottom of the racetrack though. And it looks like he's going to bring, bring along Joey Bergie with him. But here comes Tegan Fox here back into the top 10. After that uh, oh, yeah. spin. Oh, As it looks like it's going to be Michael Martinez to the bottom of the racetrack. Name Almendinger to the lead here. And wide Bristol. Here's the uh, 40. Here's the battle here. Three wide here in the back of the pack here for the uh, fifth spot. As Joey Berge and now Joey trying to Berge mix it up. The three, almost three wide for the lead. As now Almendinger going to the bottom and around the 28. But will the 28 be able to get back down and try to get around him? Will they, make it, will they try to make it three wide for the lead? Here comes uh, Joey Tartamella, 94, Sectator Media Vehicle. Another Car. I said vehicle. <laughs> the hell? As it looks like he's gonna be able to get by the 28, getting stuck on the top there. Not a good sign as he's oh, gotta man. hold on for just a couple more laps Getting as long as he stays out of the, the top 20. As we're coming up on lap number 24. Two laps to go. Here comes the 61. That 73 is on the cut line here. One full, wait, no. Yeah, two laps to go here. To head down the back straight away. It's going to be 20, 78 here. Brandon McMurray here to the inside of the 61 of Tegan Fox. Name Almadera getting to the bottom around, trying to get around the 61. Not going to work. 61 slams the door. No, wait. Okay, this this is freaking weird. 
there Joey Tartamella picking Joey up the win there. Like is it just me? Of a second. Okay, we gotta go back and see that. What in the heck? God damn, that's a close finish. Oh my god! I a bumper. Literally. Triku Sloan there, unfortunately, having to retire after that hard hit. Wait, man. Wait. No, that was the other 39. I'm sorry, the other 39 also had to retire from something similar, so my mistakes there. I'm just gonna write this stuff down real quick. Jimmy Allister, unfortunately, not making the field as well as his team owner there, Hugh Kyleson. Davion West also not making it in as well as the guy who started second here, the 44, Jer Gerhard Berger. Dave Lincoln, the fourth, not making it in. Miles Hammond Berger finishing West. where his car number is. 27th. The 01 of Rosa de la Cruz, the 75 of Kager, 41 of Mason Clements, the 88 of Marshall Levine Young, the 27 of Miles Hammond, 71 of Ethan Good, the 72 of JD Fatal, the 12 of Sebastian Kettle. Eight of Coventry Cush, the 65 of Blake Reed Jr. And your final card not transferring is going to be the 69 of Jeremy Isley. So they have to fight it out here in the uh, consolation race. I also lost 30, 32 positions there. Not a good sign for that fast track number 10 team. Hopefully going to be able to make something up in the consolation race. Coming up here in just a couple of minutes as I just got to put these uh, numbers into the game. As you do. Thirty-nine. Twenty-eight. Oh no, not not that twenty-eight. No, the, the twenty-eight made it in. Yeah, the two eighty. Zach Dickerson. Oh, the all IFIA paint scheme. Fourteen fifty. Seventy-six to Jimmy Allister. The hundred. The seventy-seven. The 44, the 25, Michael Formettis. No, oh, sorry, Mike, Abe Lincoln, the fourth. The 08 of Coventry, the 8 of new Coventry paint, Cush. New paint scheme for the 99 there. Sorry, I'm just doing it in the order I wrote it down, just so I don't have to, you know. It, it's helped me remember it from that 27. The wide Byron scheme. Okay, then there's the 12. The 8. The 65. Well, not that 65. That's 65. And the 69. There we go. Wait, let me check on something. Okay, yeah, 33 is in there. 40, 43. O one thirteen twenty nine 
We're going to get going here for this consolation race here, trying to get the uh, top uh, two into the field. This is going to be a pretty hard fought battle. Drivers, start your Actually, wait a minute. Let me do that. Drivers, to your cars. Safe. Holy shit, that actually worked. And then when we go back into the race itself, it'll be resumed save race. Yeah, when we go back to the single race, it'll be resume say resume saved race. Oh yeah, continue and then resume saved race. Did it with my and that's with why we save. It actually worked. Which means, yeah, we get Drivers the same result. Your cars. Or lineup, rather. It's basically like the game here. didn't even crash. Hello, everybody, and welcome to this consolation race here for Ski Car. Race number four at Wide Bristol. Starting on, on your front row here is going to be the 71 of Heath and Good, followed by the 12 of Sebastian Kettle to his outside in second. Third is going to be the uh, tw 11 of, I almost said Zachary Tinkle, the... Of Uncle Ruckus here is the nine of Louis Galaxy going to be hit, going to be to his outside in fourth. Coming off fifth is going to be another one of those wide wide driver paint teams. The 43 of Jeremy Phoenix, followed by the 76 of Jimmy Altser. Brand new ride there for Kyleson Enterprises. It's going to be Greg Jackson coming off uh, oh, uh, seventh. Brett. Here is the 99. Jeremy Phoenix told me that uh, uh told me that he can told me to. Well, yeah, I basically said he can have the 28 if he doesn't make this race, because the 28 made it in. All right. So we got Alberto Ingres here. It's followed by the 22 of Christoph Thomas, and round out your top 10 here is going to be the 28 of Mark Martini, another one of those wide driver paint schemes, that one being Tyler Reddick instead of uh, Fernando Alonso up there for uh, Jeremy Isley. Is that Jeremy Isley? Jeremy Phoenix. Fucking hell. Still though, that wide blade he made it in, even though it was originally just yeah the caterpillar car because I couldn't say anything at the time I was eaten. Yeah, is the field now making their way towards the start zone here? It's gonna be the flag. Seventy-one of Ethan Good here coming down to the lead as everyone else can be kind of tuck. Excuse me, tucking in behind. Anybody, anybody, let's go racing, you bunch of hot is the 43 Jeremy Phoenix going to be looking at the bottom of the racetrack? Will he be able to try to take the lead away from the 71? Yeah. Here comes Greg Jackson. That's whatever, I don't care. I did the total creative freedom thing, and I mean, I'm, I'm sticking well, by you, that. You can't even see it when it's in motion. I know, but I, I can. I look at this. This is what I go off of. So it doesn't Greg matter. Jackson in the lead right now. Here, Here comes, comes Miles the Hammond. The terrorist. The Pontiac there. There's the 01 now going to be Val Ramirez when we try and take the lead here. The making a three wide for the lead. New Lockheed Martin came to for that team this week. 41 Mason Clements now trying to take something back away, trying to get Music City Motorsports into the field. 
as Hugh Kyleson now looking to the bottom of the racetrack. Trying to get around both of them. Looks like he might be in this corner. Looks like it's going to be the 10 now to the lead, but here comes the 27 of Adrian Gale. The Australian native. After that, uh... Body guy's getting that car patched up pretty pretty good. It's the 29 and then actually looking at the bottom of the racetrack trying to get around him. I don't know. Triku is a very gender neutral name. I don't know who that is. Whoa, where'd Christoph Thomas come from? Depends at Shelf and Joe on 22. Now I'm trying to make his way to the uh, top spot. Why would I keep doing that? Is that Daniel Dyke Eckstein? I believe that is. It's Greg Jackson now back to the lead here as we are 10 of 25 Daniel laps in the book. Sign. Legendary. Hey, let's see. Only two, three, four, five wide in the back of the pack is going to be the 13 of 8 and Napier are now trying to Almost make a Music fall. City That's sandwich here with the 41. The it's the Wii Galaxy. Oh. Good job, Ashford. 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 Ashford now going to be taking that spot back. As here comes the third 25 of Abe Lincoln, the fourth here, making a, trying to make it a two-car battle for the lead. As here comes the 75 of Caker. Four wide almost. Is JD Fatal trying to join the fight now? It's going to be three by three here for first and second. And then in the one, it's going to be the 72 of JD Fatal with the lead. Looks like they're going to be trying to sort themselves out, amongst, sort it out amongst themselves behind him, as he's going to be able to. Uh, and the nine, the nine is Sebastian Dubé all the way to the bottom of the racetrack here. Not going to be enough for the 72. Will he try to block here? He's not going to be able to. But here comes the 18 and Extremento as well. Yeah, there's the Daniel Dye pit sign. <laughs> Daniel Dye mug mug shot pit sign. <laughs> That's that's goaded. It's gonna be oh, Sebastian Dubé. For the lead. Here comes the 55 of Trick. Oh, excuse me. The 56, 56. What the hell is wrong with me? Marcus Maxwell is here. Maxwell. New... Slight revision of that paint scheme there. You can see some NB, some numbers on there. Oh, yeah, it's the uh, Kobe the Bryant. Bryant. Wow, Kobe Bryant. Uh, tribute there with the 24 and the eight. Oh. Four years since uh, Kobe Bryant passed away there. It's going to be the 55 of Robert Ashford here, coming him taking him down here for 20 to go. Sorry, for 5 to go here at the Stripe. Yeah. It's going to be... Oh, here goes the 28. Oh, we got a caution. That might end the race. Oh, we're not going to be able to go back green. Oh, we got a lot of damage here. A lot of cars with a lot of damage. God, I can't oh, talk. Man. Beefing. I saw. I see some guys beefing. Let's see what the heck happened here. Oh, okay. Oh, oh it's 1450. Oh, we know the 77 wow. trying to get around the 65 there, and cleared himself in oh. front of the 1450. Just no, no, it was just Christian. No, it was just Christian Thomas just absolutely dumping him. That, that basically gave Zach Dickerson the win. But will they be able to go back green? Is the question here. I don't know. There's four laps left. The lights are still on the pace car. Oh, the lights are out now. Because we have 24 of 25 laps in the books. It's going to be a one lap shootout. Pace car may be trying to duck down to the safety of pit lane here. As, yep, they're going to do it. That's going to be one lap shootout to the finish. Robert Ashford in the lead to Zach Dickerson in second here. 
It's the green flag back out. We're back racing here for one more lap. Coming into turn one, it's going to be the 55. Look at that jump. 55 with the lead here, but here comes the 28. Whether or not he's going to have enough time. 20 to Zach Dickerson into the final corner. Final time here, all the way to the bottom of the racetrack. It's going to be the 55 of Robert Ashford and the 28 of Zach Dickerson. Dickerson making it in. And because of the and because of the agreement before, Jeremy Phoenix gets the 28 for of a Torak. Looks like it's going to be the uh, that 55 car though is going to have the. Uh, going to have the honor of being making a uh, lousy motorsports here into the uh putting both cars into the field here so that's going to be pretty interesting for them speaking of that oh we got some trouble oh jeremy phoenix with them with some trouble there so it's going to be the 28 and the 55. Oh shit, we just got a new wide paint wide driver paint scheme. But did wait, did name Almondinger even make it in? Uh yes. Alright, we got two new ones, Jane Drafton and Name Allendinger. Um. There we go. All right, so I just gotta. What? What? Uh, this hockey game he's at, I guess. I guess Stuart Friesen did the puck drop. That's cool. Awesome. I didn't make. You so didn't yeah, make go the to, last one. Also, yeah, check paint skin submissions. Listen to what you're listening to. Oh, you're listening to Holiday by Weezer. You're retiring. Dude, you made it into the feature, my guy. Mr. Martinez. Dramati. That was the that was the last chance qualifier. I buy out. <laughs> I didn't know I could do that. Huh. I could pin. What? Okay, sorry. Didn't know where the heck this stuff got submitted. Oh, he's oh, telling me he did it. Okay. Oh, yeah. I love how YouTube is so delayed. It's like, damn. It is, and there's no, I don't think, and there's no way to fix it. There really isn't. His whatever. Oh. Yeah, cause Connor, doing... guess what? what? I don't know. Just want to say your name. There's a strong possibility that I could become part time in the. We'll program. see the cover and music series. Yeah. There is a good possibility that. There's a good possibility that I could. Mm. I don't know where I'm going with this, but it's gonna involve a GMC. Do you want to run a Chevy a Chevy body with a with Ford logos on it? Sure, I'll go along with the joke. I'll go along with it. I saw the forty eight. I'm like, okay, yeah, he tries a forty eight. It's the lowest car. It's gonna be a Chevy. And then it's just like, oh shit, no, it's not. It's a Ford. It's like five fucking whatever. It's for the memes, for the joke. I mean, hell, Jimmy's driving a fucking Toyota, so why not put a Ford on a Chevy body? 
that's weird. He's one of the longer drivers that's been around that doesn't, like, you know, have a proper, you know. Yeah. God, the paint schemes are beautiful. Okay, so we got 43, Jeremy Phoenix. Phoenix wide two. Jeremy. Oh yeah. oh yeah, for the next time we do the wide drive, Bruce, he sent in an updated one of the of the normal of a wide Alonzo, but with actual revisible numbers. <laughs> Hey, dude, do you have noise isolation turned on? Yeah, I was just about to say, probably put noise isolation on. Play active drivers, let's see. Three feet. Fucking hell, really? Oh, there it is. Okay, so now what we gotta do is whittle down this fucking list a little bit there. Get the 26. The 09. 57. Twice. Twenty-seven. Six. Fifteen, unfortunately. And Twenty-eight, not going to make the field. Fifty-five stays. Eighteen goes. Fifty-six goes. <coughs> Unless anyone wanted to buy out a ride. Like, Napier still can do that. Yeah, it's the team that I know of. Oh. Forty-three stays, the twenty-eight goes. The uh, the thirty three. Yeah, that's fine. Zero three nine. Thirty nine. Twenty eighteen just stays. Fifty fifty goes. Zero seventy six. There it goes. Kyleson goes. 
West. Davion West goes. Derek Carr Berger. 25. You're blinking the board. Alberto and Gray's. Oh, did we? Oh, yeah. Goes to Taylor Cruz. Akers. Akers gone. Man. Gordon gone. Is it just me or do like the the Discord sounds just don't come through for me anymore? Well, not that they come you. through. Me. Yeah, that's what I mean. I don't know what the fuck's going on. Is it like a setting I got to? You turn restarting with? Discord. Oh yeah, no, it's been like this for days now. Huh. Maybe uninstall and reinstall the app. Sixty-five and sixty-nine. Have you checked soundboard volume on right-click options? It's not soundboard though. I'm talking in general. Like, like when somebody oh, comes yeah, and goes, like I can't try hear anything. Try uninstalling and reinstalling Discord. Can it only take 41? Unless we missed someone. No, there was 42 selected. Give me a sec here. We're gonna do it because Dickerson was second, right? Zach Dickerson. Mm hmm. And take him out, say that only one transfer from the last chance qualifier. How about that? That's fair, right? Yeah, it can only take 41 cars. That's roughly a full field. I didn't know about that. Drivers, oh, to your car. Yeah. All right. Hello, everybody, and welcome to Ski Car Race number four here. This is the final event here. This is the feature. So it is feature time. Starting on your front row here is going to be the 66 in A. Malmendinger, followed by the uh, four of Garfield Cat to his outside in second. Third is going to be the 95 of Jane Drafton, followed by Jason Albert there in the NOS number 84 in fourth. Rolling off fifth is going to be the 54 of Zebelton Fullington, followed by the 16 of Peyton Lutz in sixth. Seventh is going to be the six of Matthew Bruner, followed by the uh, six of, of. Oh, wait, fuck. Two sixes. Yeah, the, sorry, Jack Meehoff in eighth. Ninth is going to be the 83 of Joey Burton. And rounding out your top 10 here is going to be the. Oh, this is mocking me at this. Yeah, they're just mocking me at this point. Six, six, 83, 83. Because now we take a look at the rest of the field so that people know where the heck they are. And I didn't select seeing I didn't select that fucking paint scheme. Save. What? For beverage train? Oh no, not for beverage train. Beverage train has the other one. I'm talking uh Phoenix. Okay. Let's see, will this work now? Drivers. This must be 25 laps. Oh, fuck. Mm -hmm. 100 laps of chaos. Oh no, it's saved it at 25. Fuck me. Drivers, oh. to your cars. So what do you say? Do we hmm. just go to 25? Actually, uh, you know, we got a man in the race. I'm sorry. Thank you, 
do that again. No. We will not resume saved race. Alright, take two here. Hello everybody and welcome to Ski Car Race number four here at Wide Bristol. We'll be taking a look at our starting lineup here, starting on your front row here for this 100 lap main event. It's going to be the Drivers four to your cars. Of Joey Tartamella, followed by the 83 of Joey Berkey to his outside in second. Third is going to be the 10 of Hugh Kyleton, followed by the 43 of Jeremy Phoenix in fourth. Fifth is going to be the 19 of Daniel Stark, followed by the 78 of his outside in sixth. Seventh is going to be the 24 of Zephyr Fulton and to his outside in the UPS number six is going to be Matthew Brewer. With Name on the Dinger, David Damon Deacons, Chad Jones, and, uh, excuse me, Trainer Campos. Trainer Campos making up the rest of the field here. That's good. Daniel Kyleson now. Trying to get around him. Looks like he's going to do it now. Here comes Daniel Starr. Trying to battle. Two battles on the bottom. Not for long. He's trying to get the ball out. 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 As the uh, city leader Brian McMurray. Also, there are three wide people in here coming in the line. There's CJ Torak out of the car, so uh, Jeremy Phoenix is going to get some points. Speed code number 43. He's going to be tagging out of his team right now, there's 94 of Joey Tartamella. We're going to try to work together now. And still, they're going to be... Actually, uh, oh, oh, I was going to say, 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 Head to the top side now, but here comes Phoenix once again. He is really strong here. In the Get around the seven yeah. and a night. As Beverly Train now looking to try to see if he can do uh, battle with in his the own team. Wide Blaney car. Here's Jeff Dubuque also. Three flipper wing cars up here. Great race for that team. Wide for the lead. Here's Jeff Dubuque. Towards the front is the six Jack Zinkoff. He's going to be able to take the lead here. Maybe not lead that one, but he's going to be able to uh, get it back here momentarily. A little far wide behind him! Oh, yeah. Three, two, five, five, there. For the rest of the pack. Oh, Jack Zinkoff. Yeah. It looks like he tried to get into the 95. The 95 thinking Ooh, better than the almost higher. four wide. Here comes Jeff Sneaker in the 39. This is Robert Ashford made his way in here to the LCQ. Finally, uh, get his way. Oh, it's it's Jeff and Nico never trying to find each other. Going on first now. The owner and co-owner. As Jeremy Phoenix once again. With the lead to 19 and the 6, trying to retake the lead. He's been doing really good here all day. Absolutely. Let me take a look at the 
he's doing here for the book. Success this season as of yet, but uh, even now, it may be some point of a little bit of a perfect uh, difference there to try to win. Uh, we might not have to overcome it you know, because we know how things can get with bigger teams, you know. This is some future thought, maybe a theory, if I might say. It looks like a 39 a jet sneaker now headed to the lead. It's spongy at the lead, but trying to get back up there on the side. And it looks like Name Almondinger now, another triple in auto sport car, going to be trying to lead. Oh, so, yeah, that's my fellow auto sport car that's doing real good today. Yeah, Jeremy Phoenix here. I don't think he's been, I don't think he's left the top 10 in a day here. He's doing 25 of 100 laps now. Down. Oh, uh, three things to go here. Three wide with a lead. Here comes the 40 and Michael Martinez, brand new paint scheme, brand new uh, team for that guy. The body armor number 40. Two cars on the whole board. We are back to six cars now. With the depart with the unfortunate closure of Bracket Motorsports, we are going all the back to six cars. So if Jeremy Phoenix can find a driver for uh, Phoenix Enterprises, that might change, though. You never know. Is Joey well, no, wait, no. It's Peyton Lutz. He's with Peyton Lutz. Jeremy Phoenix on it's stuck on the top side. He might be able to make his way back down over here. Here comes that 35 again. It looks like he will now try to get underneath the 17 to come to the head. Shaking on that sinker now. That 43 is coming. Hmm. Let's take a little bit of a little four wide for the lead. Not feeling the. Uh, Thirty eighth position there. Is Xavier Martinez getting it? Boom. Oh, Thirty second for the forty four. That's about typical. This team might have the advantage here. Is the thirty four? Is the forty three back to the lead? He can't get enough of this. Is Brandon McMurray taking that back over now? That's from New England, number 78. Here comes the 66. Can you know? Name all when they're close outside. And Chris. Okay. It's crazy to see just how much uh, speed these guys can carry into the corner, especially if they go low like that. Absolutely. Let's try a better crane in the back. There he is. There's that Stuck wide waiting car. Hector Daniel Carlson to his outside and the 7 and Noah Knight to his inside. Here's the. Am I in dead last? Yes. What happened? I don't know. Here's Wyatt Wild up here. Last minute wide driver. Can someone cause a caution, please? Oh man! Here goes the 61! 
Tegan Fox. Making her way to the lead. The last one is 412. Westfield number 61 there is Daniel Starr and Fanatics Designs. Number 19 taking that spot. That is a Yahoo Cup Series car. For Colgate Cup Series, I mean, fucking Christ. It's the very four. I'm the fucking dumb. Day. I'm, I'm out of it right now. My brain does not work like normal. The whole top three here is comprised of the after long, he was pulled in the mouth, and we're looking at a three wide here for the lead. Here comes Jeremy Phoenix again. You can see that number 35. Jeremy yeah. Phoenix today, this season. It's 35 Jeff Dubuque now making, trying to make something work. Oh, look at that great grip in here. Uh, Jerry Phoenix, once again, still up here. He's got some inhumane amounts of speed right now. Absolutely. Contact. Uh, as the fort did not have to kill him. That, uh, 80, sorry, the 43 player there is the 66 and I'm going to try to get some uh, payback for his teammate there. Uh, the 45. It's just an absolute dog fight in the position. Black card is good. Change Reckon who's finally headed up and trying to take the lead now the White Cross number 95. Then sitting right around the top five, and then we have to get over to uh, yeah. But oh wow, look at that other guy. As the uh, 17 is funny over now, and the 66 of the Nomadon is doing battle now. As the 19 of Daniel Starfight uh, as the board goes high, it looks like it's going to be 66 of the Nomadon side by side from his fourth position. Here comes the 42 of uh, Lee Griffin trying to mix things up as well. Jet Sneaker put part of the picture as well. Uh, let's see where the heck everyone back here is. Jerry Phoenix falling way back inside the top 10 now. Here comes that 34 Bever train. Uh, and actually 83 of Michael Barber. This is going to be some of the first laps that I was going to go all season. Like, we need to get a couple of riders there. I believe he might have loved that one. He did. Wait a second. Let me just give this thing a second so, you know, I don't want this thing to be exactly on the same mark because it might be the Oh, Jeff Dubuque making it too wide for the lead. Looks like he's going to be able to get it. Oh, uh, open for pack contact there with the crew and It's by Robert Eckford, looking to retake that uh, top spot here is Garth Hunter Pack with a little bit of 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 the uh, 74 back up here to the uh, it's, 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 uh, that stage guy. I haven't seen much out of him as of late. The true lead of the 47. You're taking the lead. I believe you let that lap. That's going to be pretty impressive. As the 67 is trying to get around the 43 of Jeremy Phoenix as well as the 47. Looks like she's been not able to do it this lap, but maybe the next one, if Grace Cuban does have anything to say about it. Taking the lead here in a semi D time. With the big center just coming to the noise. Then they're actually the same, the same base. base. 
Here comes Jeremy and Phoenix. Sorry about this one. He's going to be taking the lead, but it's not going to be for long. It's the 47 Dave Cobb going to be right back up there trying to take that back row. We're halfway home now at 65. And we're going to get the As we head down the back straight away, we're going to be number 65 into 66. It's going to be the 39 of Jeff Dubuque here. That's it, that's sorry, the 39 of Jet Sneaker. Comes in for the lead. The 86 Avery Williams. Williams concedes the spot because he comes to the five yard line. Sneaky so might not want to get that up there easily, but it's like the last is 55 Sad to get his way past into that uh, top spot. But here comes the 45 of Porter Bernard. Is Michael Martinez not a good side? Does he have anything for the uh, 45? Looks like he will not have moved the new number 40 car and leading his first stops for Kyle Sun Enterprises. There's the 35 of Jeff DeBuke now. Really interesting. But it looks like it might be the 78 of Brandon McMurray or the 17 of Spongy of Rimmel would be his biggest prop now. As a boy sends it into turn number one, he's going to be able to clear him down the back straightaway here. Actually, maybe not clear him down, but it looks like it's going to be 17. But now, better jump into the corner. As he comes to six to Jack Meehawk here, as we have 71 of 100 miles. As we have a big problem with a Sunday Beast sandwich now between the last number six of us and the Jack Meehawk. Chad Jones making his way up to get to the big problem. So it's going to be 76 there. As Dave's gone, now looking at his inside, trying to get around him. Slap 74. And that looks like to be a battle between the 94 and Joey Tartanella. Maybe not, Jack Neal. Cross over here. He only recently started being able to actually do good on ovals. That's true, with the 35 Jeff Beach now had to go out on the as well as the uh of the Noto. Yeah. Nice to catch Matthew Bruner up here, the last car uh, in line before the uh race here, because there he is there, you can see him on the edge of that under the yeah. yeah. May have been some sort of issue with that car and they can see him uh, go as fast as everyone else. Elaine Johnson now looking to be inside, trying to make it two for two here after that fantastic uh, dominant win there on uh, that car. The Twinkies number eight. Oh, here comes that 34. Damon Deacon to win, but it's not going to be too long. Making his way back up to the top spot. Maybe stay with that one for a while here. It's going to be flipping on all sport here. And as this field is really tough. Here comes Jeremy there. Phoenix yet again. Lap 82 now. As the. Uh, so it's really uh, Shallowing down on that number six car. As the uh, 17 is going to be a goal, getting around the 43 once again here as we take the lead. As here comes Phoenix Jackson. Uh, I'm going to a couple laps in here. As we have what, almost 15 laps to go here, not being fair now. As Mark is going to be going for it. It's going to be a little bit Here, Beverly Payne and former teammate uh, Michael Martinez. As 17 is going to be look at the bottom of the racetrack. Maybe he's going to have to try to use the lap car. Matthew Bruno is a pick. But maybe this 8 of Lane Johnson will instead as, as she holds the 7 uh, of the top side there, getting around. And he's trying to, to get around him. He's not going to be able to do it this time. It's a tremendous fight. 
As they're going to be three wide here for the lead. It's 45 and a quarter, and now getting it here. As he again has left 87 and 90, 15 laps to go. This is going to be a nail biter here at the line. Cody Bernard. He's not happy. He's going to let the Martinez here. That's an enterprise. We're we'll passing an enterprise. He's finally going to be able to go 2 for 2. And the speed car here. Not only being the first, but their second to be a first run in the same uh, season. So it's going to be pretty interesting to uh, see how much the cars at the same team. That's a nice As the uh, Aiden Boy Johnson are looking at the bottom, she's going to last 10 more laps here. She can be able to do it. Now. It's all order here for these guys to be able to. God damn it, I'm sorry. They're three, four, five wide in the back. It's a match to race here. No one really has an upper hand. Oh, here comes Bever Train trying to take the lead away. There's a wide game. Acumatica Dodge Challenge. Here. One of the few times we see Acumatica sponsoring Bever Train. There he goes to the lead! Sorry, Tanner Campos to the bottom. I think I even say it at this point. Will Ray Griffin or Jeremy Phoenix to have to go to the top? Phoenix now, it looks like he's broken his way back into the top. No, he's not. Here comes Dr. Buke! Jeff to be able to get his first career win. Come on, let's get Jamie to get the win. Well, here's Jeff Sneaker. Of the even matched win here with his new car number, the number 39. As here comes Jeremy Phoenix. He wants this one and he wants it bad. We're sending it three wide now. It's going to be the 43 Jeremy Phoenix with the 55 of Robert Ashford in tow. Taking the lead here, it's going to be 55, getting the advantage. Oh, here comes Dave Allmendinger. Dave Allmendinger also in this picture as we are coming up on that 98 of 100. Here comes Johnny Yang. Johnny Yang in the picture. Here's the 61 of Tegan Fox. 99, 100, two laps to go as they head into turn one. Michael Barber from Team Tegan Fox. Yeah. 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 As Midnight Rider trying to get around the 61 here. They're going to make it four, four wide. Four wide. For the, the lead here as we have one lap to go here. Yeah. 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 Heading down to the final corner. It's going to be James Daniel here looking at yeah. the yeah. 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 Here comes Joey Taramilla to the bottom of the road. Yeah. Side by side here to the line. Who's it going to be? Joey Tardamello wins it. Joey Tardamello! Joey Tardamello! He won a race! Joey Tardamello wins! Here at White Bristol. An amazing finish. Uh, oh my god! Do you see the margin of victory? Oh my... What? What? Yeah, that should Just be one of the closest barely. margins. One of the closest that margins. That is the closest victory. skip car finish. This beat this beat that Tal Wait, Talladega. Wait, what was the closest was two, finish before this? I forget. Talladega was two thousandths of a second, so we're gonna have to see that in a this moment. This beat it. We finally got a finish that beat it. Uh, no, because these are these are hundredths. So we don't actually know. Oh my god. Yeah. Oh my god. <gasps> that. That is was a really... finish. That is an exciting finish.
Okay, let's try to get it like this maybe, so I can fit in that graphic. There we go. So yeah, as always here, thank you all so much for, on the folks on oh YouTube. Oh my out lord. Here. We're going to be ending the YouTube stream relatively soon here. We're just going to be uh, hanging out here in the Discord server. So if you want, hop on in, have some fun. It's a uh, weekend, weeknight. Well, sorry, it's a, uh, you know, weekend night. So we can see what the heck we can do. It's going to be lots of fun uh, right here on Discord. Uh, may or may not be a race tomorrow. i got to figure something out with my schedule. So uh, yeah. If there isn't one tomorrow, I'm going to see y'all on Sunday. And, Did yeah, I still maybe, come in last? Who was that? I I don't know. Matthew. All right, let's see. Dead last. Dead Chris. last? Dead last. Sweet. Yeah. Sweet. <laughs> Where did I finish? Where did that train finish? Where did that 34 Tegan. car finish? That was Tegan, right? No. Me, Bever Train, Tegan oh. isn't even in here. Oh, wait, who is, who is that even saying that then? Tegan isn't even online. Damn, I thought I, I heard that. I just want to know where Bever Train finished. Oh, side by side for Bever Train. <laughs> We're to 66. Either a smart fella or a fart smella. Fucking hell. I should shut the fuck up sometimes. Oh, oh. oh my god. Whoa, whoa. Oh my god, what the hell oh. happened? We love Fit Road. This happened. True. <laughs> Bristol thick boy.